How is everybody doing? So I'm in my mini Zach, and in this video, I'm going to take a look into who the villain might be in the new season of Cobra Kai. However, before we dive into this video, I'd like to give a special shout out to Screen Ramp, who gave me one of the ideas that will be used in this video, and a link to their webpage will be found in the description below if you want to go check it out. At the end of season 5, Chris escaped from jail by faking his own attack, and Silver was arrested after seeing Ray change his statement about the season 4 attack. Would Chris free Willie seek revenge or forgiveness? Watch the end of the video to hear my thoughts about this. Her main role would simply be to train the new students of Cobra Kai to be Daniel and Johnny's students, main dojo name to be confirmed. And some of the students may even antagonize main characters such as Sam, Dimitri, and Miguel, etc. More than likely, one of the students will be disqualified from the Sakai Takai for seriously injuring another fighter, probably from Daniel and Johnny's dojo. Kim Dayang may even get into conflict with Daniel, Johnny, and potentially Amanda or Carmen if those characters decide to have a more active role in the karate side of things. And she may plot the downfall of Daniel and Johnny's dojo and even steal away some of the students. Another strong candidate for main villain in season 6 would be Arali Silva, who due to the best lawyers money can buy and insufficient evidence would just be released or evade prison. Most probably he would use the promotion technique that Kreese used in season 1 of Cobra Kai, which is just laying low during the early season and then emerging when his enemies least expect it at the perfect time. And our final villain prediction is Kreese seeking revenge. This would be done in the form of secretly entering one student unaffiliated into the Sakai Tekai and training them behind the scenes. As for who this student would be, Screen Rat predicted that it would be Kenny, and the two of them would form a duo similar to Johnny and Kreese in the first Karate Kid movie. However, I believe that the perfect single student for Kreese, not in an appropriate way, would be Tori. This is because they have a much closer and personal bond, so it'd be easier to draw Tori away from the Argy Fang than it would be to draw Kenny away, who is more loyal to Robbie as his first mentor. The two of them would train non-stop, and then at the tournament it would be revealed that Tori is fighting unaffiliated with Kreese as her sensei to the surprise of everybody. And that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe for more Cobra Kai content like this. Let me know in the comments below who you think the villain will be in the new season. And an extra special thank you to Scream Ramp for giving me the idea for this video and inspiration for it. It's been your main man, Manny Zach, and remember to stay amazing. Bye. Wake up in the morning, look at my dresser. Look at all the drip could use to impress her. I am the brand and she's the best and she buys in the night. Aye, 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 aye. So what would you first lay eyes on me? Aye, aye, aye.